honestly, running has changed my life and I implore anyone and everyone to give it a go because it's just phenomenal. I belong, I belong to you. I belong, I belong to you. Hello, welcome to the spare room of my house. We have such an exciting sponsor today. This vlog is sponsored by Emma's Sleep, which is a mattress company. I don't know why, but the adult in me just really loves that. In my spare room at the moment, I've got this like really old mattress. It's right next to me. I think my parents gave it to me, but it's really run down. Grateful that I was given a mattress, but it is time for an upgrade. So the guests that stay over at my house are going to have the most phenomenal mattress. So we're gonna unbox it together. I'm so excited. Can you not chew on the corner of the bed? As someone who only recently got a new mattress, like it wasn't last year, it was the year before. And I did not realize just how much of my neck pain and just problems from sleeping on a really uncomfortable mattress can give you. Even more so switching to a memory foam pillow this year or end of last year has honestly transformed my life. If you get neck pain or wake up with headaches, definitely try and switch to a memory foam pillow. Before we move on to the mattress, this is what they look like. So I have two that I'm gonna put in here, but I honestly might steal and put them in my room because I'm a sucker for a memory foam pillow. So this is called the Emma pillow. This is what she looks like. I've never felt memory foam pillow before. They're so interesting. And in your mind, you think, oh, that feels really uncomfortable, but it's not. It's honestly so much more beneficial for your sleep. And I have been using this for a few weeks now and I'm honestly obsessed. Sleep is one of those things that we always forget about, but if you're not sleeping well, you can pretty much write off everything else that you're gonna try and do in your day. You certainly don't train at your best and I have needed to get a new mattress in here for the longest time. So it's happening today. I'm sorry if you can hear my dog chewing her bone or her ball should I say this is also going to be a one woman show here she is she's in a big box like that and I'm also going to try and film like a reel at the same time let's see how this goes can I fit you on the windowsill I will have my discount code down below too if you do want to check out Emma Sleep I have heaps of different options on the website too the one that I chose is called the Emma Comfort Premium Mattress I got a, a double size because I have a double base in here. I love setting up mattresses. First things first, I'm just gonna take the old mattress out of here. Let's see how we go with that. Charlie, I don't need your assistance. <sighs> That's gonna sit in the way for the time being. Filming a reel and YouTube at the same time is a bit difficult. <sighs> BRB, get some scissors. Let's unbox this baby. opener. I don't know who I should be showing. I will never understand how they manage to get mattresses just like rolled up into a box. Wow. Uh, plan of attack. How do we do this? Just... But, oh. Oh, she's compact. So. Now, with the best course of action to put it on the bed and like unroll it on the bed. The bed base definitely needs a balance too. My favorite saying is, for the time being, it's fine. Onto the bed she goes. Oh yes, that would be it. <laughs> oh my God. That noise? Whoa, that's pretty cool. Oh my God, it's alive. Whoa. That is wild. Oh. It's so crazy. I'm clearly entertained by very simple things. It's just like slowly growing. Look at it grow. She's so pretty. Oh, damn, that is, that is sexy. It's got nice little handles, perfect fit. When you watch the reel of me putting this up, you guys who watch this will know it was a little bit more. <laughs> there was a bit more to it. Woo! Oh. Now nah, that's nice. That is sexy, that. Oh my god, it's so bouncy! Oh my god, the fan is on. I'm honestly so impressed. 
impressed by this mattress. It's so nice. Gorgeous. They might not look as pretty as the big fluffy decorative pillows, but my god, they are so much better for you. Because like you think about the time you spend sleeping, isn't it something like a third of your life you spend sleeping? And can I say, the shipping on this was so fast. It's so convenient too because it just comes in a box and you don't have to faff around with anything. Essentially, it's a one man job or a one woman job, should I say. Let's pop these up. Hot tip, always get the doona a size bigger than the actual size of the bed because then it'll flow over the edges and it'll look a lot nicer rather than it's if it's like the actual size. I'm pretty sure this is a king. It's a little bit... Why am I... I don't know why I'm saying British, I apologise. It's a little bit big. Oh, it looks so pretty. Oh. Charlie is a paid actor. <laughs> oh, I will say I'm sweating bullets in here. I've just finished editing those clips and I feel like it's just the most chaotic thing I've ever seen in my life. Hang on, Charlie's ball has gone under the, the TV unit. If you do want to shop anything from Emma Sleep, you can use the code ConnorYT and that gets you an extra 5% off their already discounted sale prices, which is amazing because their prices are already incredible and mattresses are expensive. And yeah, ConnorYT gets you an extra 5% off. And thank you so much again to Emma Sleep for sponsoring this weekly vlog. Good morning, happy Wednesday. I'm a very happy camper this morning. I feel on top of the world, which is so rare, not to be feeling good, but so rare to be feeling like so good. Like right before my period, usually I'm feeling very tired, very emotional, but I had a 7K easy run this morning. If you watched my previous vlog, my last two runs have felt really, really quite horrendous. Just a really high heart rate, not keeping up with the pace, just thinking that I'm actually a terrible runner and I I've been slow this whole time and now that I've got a heart rate monitor strap I'm actually a lot slower. We are in week seven of training at the moment and I kind of changed my runner app just because I felt like I couldn't keep up with the pacing. I don't know whether to change it back to what it was but anyway that was probably the best run I've ever had in my life. I ended up doing 10k which probably shouldn't have done because it was supposed to be easy. I did it in one hour minutes 35 seconds which is a pb by quite a few minutes and my average pace was six minutes 27 seconds which is wild for a 10k and just considering how i felt those last two runs i don't know what i did differently well I, there was one thing that i changed everything else had the same like food that i had before exact same situation i'll put my splits on the screen i gradually got faster and faster because when i hit 7k i was like you know what let's just like keep going i felt so good i well and truly had runners high my heart rate was like nice and low for the pace that i was going like i could have definitely slowed it down but most of the time yeah i was running like a six and a half minute kilometer and my heart rate was like one five 159, 158, 159, 160, probably at the very start of my threshold. And then I kind of sent it towards the end with a 541 kilometer. And I also hit a PB for my 5K, which was so exciting. And it was the second half of the, the 10K that was the PB for the five, if that makes sense, which is super interesting too, because like you'd think that it, I'd be tired by then. But yeah, I ran 30 minutes, 40 seconds for the 5K. It was just a phenomenal run. And I was thinking, okay, maybe the last two runs were just... <laughs> flukes or you know my period is nearly coming. I always find that I tend to be more tired and more lethargic before my period rather than on my period and also thank you so much for your support on my TikToks about running and like commenting down below saying you're doing a really good job. It just it honestly means the world because I'm very proud of how far I've come and I feel a lot better about that run which goes to show if you have a few bad runs or a bad week of running you're probably gonna have a really good week the next week. But the thing I changed, I'm a pretty short person, so my stride length and my cadence is quite low. Cadence is the number of steps that you take in a minute. It's very, very different for everyone, but I think the magic number is about 180 steps per um, minute. I'm pretty sure based on most of my runs, depending what it is, my cadence is about 150 to 168, which is quite low. But again, it is different for everyone. But what I found is, especially on that 14K, my legs were just so sore and tired, even from like eight kilometers onwards. When you increase your cadence, you're not necessarily going faster. But what it's doing is lessening the amount of time that your legs are on the ground. Because if you think about it, I might have to demonstrate. <laughs> If you're running like really like heavy and slow and you've got a low cadence, um, Charlie, I need to demonstrate. You're probably going to get sore legs because you're, you know, 
you're like moving and your legs are spending more time upon impact. Whereas if you're a lot quicker on your feet and a lot lighter and your cadence is higher, you're, you're more likely to reduce any leg pain or shin splints because you're spending less time on the ground. So I kind of felt a bit ridiculous because it's actually quite hard to take more steps but try and stay the same speed, like not go way faster. Because for me, like the faster you go, you're probably gonna take more steps. So what I was really working on was trying to take more steps, but not go a whole lot faster. But I obviously did go faster, but I didn't feel it as opposed to how I would normally try and go faster. It is so interesting. So that really was the only thing that I was like mentally thinking like quick cadence, quick cadence. And you wanna make sure that you're doing it where it's not awkward and you feel like a bit ridiculous, like you're running on the spot. My average cadence in that run was 178 steps per minute, which is significantly higher than my average cadence for literally ever every other run I've done. And my max run cadence was 232 steps per minute. So very interesting. I'm definitely gonna try and implement increasing my cadence more and like using your arms as a really big one. And I definitely found that my legs were so much less fatigued at the end of the run. With that said, my last run was on Sunday. It's Wednesday, so I've had rest. But increasing my cadence definitely helped. Oh. By a landslide, it helped. So it'll be very interesting to see how I go with my tempo runs and my intervals. And then I'm pretty sure this Sunday, I've got a 16 kilometer long run. It'll be good to see how increasing my cadence for that type of distance will go because at the end of my 14 and the end of that 16, my legs were so sore. I apologize if you don't give two shits about running, um, but I'm very, very proud. Good evening, it is now six something. I'm at my boyfriend's house and we're about to go get some dinner. I'm gonna get a poke bowl. I will never not be obsessed with poke bowls. I think I really found my love for them when I went to London because I had about 55 when I was there. It is nice and chilly this morning and the weather is fabulous. It's so nice to have like sunny and cold weather after like a week of rain. My boyfriend and I are just gonna pop to the shops, get a coffee, and then I've got some other work to do. I've been really productive this week just getting a bunch of like my sponsored content in because I'm actually leaving the country in a couple weeks. Yeah, I just have a little bit more sponsored content than usual going live in June. And I tend to try and space it out the best I can. Um, and I know some people have a big problem with sponsored content, but that is kind of the part that allows me to do this as a job. And actually, because it's the end of the financial year, what tends to happen, a lot of brands try to get rid of their marketing budget because it kind of resets for the next financial year. Just like trying to squeeze everything in and get stuff ready. So yeah, a little bit more sponsored content than usual. I hope you guys don't mind, but I never talk about anything that I don't actually really, really love. I'm gonna go get coffee. I also broke my nail. I closed the door on it, which was lovely. This is the coffee fit. But I did my interval run this morning and same thing as my easy run on what day was that Wednesday it felt so good I don't know what has happened I'm like surely increasing my cadence can't improve my running like by this much that felt so good I don't know if you remember in my week of half marathon training but there was an interval session where I had to repeat the runs twice oh my god I have to do that again. Pretty much that exact workout. So it was like 200 meter intervals at 620 pace. Mind you, I have updated my runner because I had it set on advanced runner. I'm not an advanced runner. I don't know what I was thinking. Like, I think I put it on intermediate. So the times have like slowed down just a little bit. But even then, like the target pace was like 620 and I was doing 546, 547, 544, 540. Yeah, my best pace was 517 for the 200 meter interval. And I was 
fine. Like I was holding it. I definitely sent it at the end, but I felt so relaxed. It kind of felt easy. Whereas last time I was struggling so hard. Um, it's just, honestly, it's like night and day. I'm like, is my body just like, it's like, yep. Okay. We're ready to move on to the next like level of endurance fitness. I don't know, but I'm excited and I've got my leg. I'm excited again because those two runs really put me in the dumps a little bit. I've got one more run to do possibly this afternoon because I would prefer to have a rest day before my long run. If not, it's only a tempo run. So I didn't really want to do the interval session tomorrow. So I switched them. Anyway, 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 let's go get a coffee. to be in your house for you to question whether someone's putting them there. <laughs> <laughs> I saw that, I thought that was funny. True, like at one time or like uh, over at, how many at days? At one time, like say like two appear a day and you're like, nah, someone's got to be putting these here. Oh, okay. I think it'd take a few. Yeah, I reckon it'd be like, but then like the more do you just think like they're all in a group? Yeah. Like so just like joining me, that's what I mean. 15. You mean 15? In, yeah. Inside the house. Just, yeah, just like randomly appearing. So I saw Tina, I'm like, they're, they're mates. Yeah. But if I saw... Inside your house? Yeah. No, if I saw... In your bedroom, there were 10 seats. Yeah, no, no, no. no. <laughs> Think about this, right? One's come in. Yeah. And his mates... Open the door for his face. Yeah, yeah, he's... His, he's like, his mates have been like, where's he going? He's like, I know where food is or something like that. Yeah. But 15, you're like, someone else this. Yeah. <laughs> See, I think it needs to be more. Because have you, <laughs> Shit. have you seen how many seagulls there are at the beach? True, and they hang yeah. around. Your like, in your room. It's your first thought con that someone's capturing seagulls and putting yeah, them in your true. room. Yeah, true. Okay, okay. So let's imagine you run like, you close your eyes, you open your eyes, and then there's 30 seagulls. <laughs> What would you say? Would you be like, mate? Or would you be like, some... Why did you think of this? I didn't, it was on something. Oh. I, I, I like that you thought to bring it to us. Yeah. Would you say 30, you'd be like, nah, they're mates. What room trying... of the house are they in? Oh, they're in your bedroom, for sure. Well, if they're in my bedroom, then someone's putting them there. Um, I don't know, I think no, like 50. Good. Is that a lot? Yeah, I mean, it's, I mean, it is a lot. 50, yeah, I can see that. But what if you saw 40? I reckon it's more than three. But so if you saw someone four, you'd be like, someone's in. done this. Or have they just flown in no. by accident? Imagine the same thing, but a pelican. Someone is physically going and getting seagulls and putting them in your room. How I'll many see. till you suspect that someone's doing it? Get Here in my house. one. Here Thank you. Someone's just put one seagull. If you saw one seagull, you wouldn't be like, how did this get in here? You'd you think someone's done this. Yeah. <laughs> <You're around. laughs> one. So it tells me the lap, not the like total distance, but feeling really good. It is cold though. I feel like that's the hard part. <laughs> Thank you. 
In here, so it's like like expanded so much. Look how fat it is. Good morning. I'm gonna be taking you guys on a 16 kilometer run with me this morning. I have my pre-run breakfast. I tried to like pre-set everything last night. Like I poured my coffee into the cup and had it already. I've made overnight wheat picks. I was gonna do oats, but this run i tried to eat quite a lot of carbs yesterday for this run because fueling is honestly probably the most important thing Running when the sun's coming up. It's so nice. I'm nearly five kilometers in and feeling so good, but I do need to do a poo. So, oh, just hit five. That's insane. Just hit five in 31.20. And I feel like that was a breeze. Anyway, I need to run. Do you find a toilet now? Okay, we are 8.6 k's in. Somehow running 5.39 k's at the moment. I did do my poo, feeling about 10 kilos lighter. Honestly, I feel like that's the closest I've ever been to shitting myself. Clearly, still need to work on pre-race food. It's probably the coffee. Almost at 10 k. I'm in shock. I did 18k. I was almost home, so I kind of just thought, just keep going like you feel good. Oh my god. And I'm on my period. Day two. I did sub one hour for my 10k. I did 26 minutes for my five. 26 something. <sighs> oh, that felt honestly phenomenal. Holy shit. <sighs> I'm actually in disbelief. I'll chat more once I'm home and look at all my stats. But for so much of that, I was running like sub six minutes for each K. That's, that is like unheard of. Holy shit. Oh, I'm so happy.
It's now Monday and I wanted to quickly debrief with you that 18 kilometer long run. I do not know what has happened since last week. I have never in my life experienced such a night and day difference in something ever, let alone like fitness or my ability to do something. It is quite literally night and day to go from running about 31 minutes for a 5k to doing it in like 26 minutes and whatever seconds within that 18 kilometer is bonkers. Yeah, honestly, I don't know what has happened. I feel like a lot of you are gonna ask, how have you gotten to this point? I guess when you think about it, it's taken me seven months since starting running um, in November and I'm about to start week seven of my training but I've been running fairly consistently for about seven months. Also, I feel like I'll get questions. This jump is from Ellis Katie. Honestly, running has changed my life and I know that sounds very dramatic to say but I was in a really dark place at some points in this year and then training for this half marathon specifically it has just given me like a new lease on life not to say that my life is bad before and I don't want to come across as ungrateful but wow the benefits that I have gotten from running have been astronomical and I implore anyone and everyone to give it a go because it's just phenomenal and this one was honestly the greatest run of my life I enjoyed it so much as you can see my first kilometer was like six minutes 30 and I thought oh better slow down a bit but I didn't I just simply got faster the first 5k flew by everything was under like a 630 pace apart from the first kilometer and then from that point on every single kilometer was under six minutes they honestly just got faster and faster and then my final kilometer was five minutes and four seconds which I'm pretty sure is my fastest kilometer ever the only thing about this run is I did have to stop and do a poo but I am 100% confident I would have been able to keep going if I didn't do that like I just I felt so fine and I was just annoyed that I needed to poo but bloody hell that is the closest I've come to shake myself and my heart rate is so low for running that fast like fast for me I honestly don't I don't know I've never run five blank pace in anything really unless it's been like an interval and it's been really really hard to have an average pace for that run of five minutes 41 seconds it doesn't feel real I did it in one hour 42 minutes which is I believe faster than the first 16k I did and oh my god when I finished the 16 and the 14k I could barely walk and the last kilometers were a struggle and I felt pretty exhausted for the rest of the day whereas this 18 kilometer I felt so fine I was a little like I was a bit sore like yeah I had just run 18 kilometers but I went for a walk I didn't feel t overly tired throughout the day and to top it all off I am on my period I don't know what has happened I, I, I don't know of course we all know that progress is not linear who knows next week could be a terrible week but I feel a lot more confident in myself now that I will be able to complete the half marathon comfortably tap on wood but yeah I'm just so proud of myself and so many of you guys replied to my Instagram story being like that's so good like congratulations you're inspiring me to start running I just love it I feel like running is like what I'm really passionate about at this point in time and I love that you guys are enjoying the running content because it's always a bit of like a scary thing and like a risky thing to change your content because I know it's pretty running heavy at the moment but you guys are really liking it which makes me really happy because I really like making it oh I need to stop rambling it was such a good run and I'm so excited to run tomorrow I'm kind of sad that I don't have a run today although I have so much to do today so I don't have time that feeling that you have when you're on a run and you're feeling good it just feels like you're on this huge high and it's it's so good but anyway i'm gonna end off this vlog here thank you so much again to emma sleep for sponsoring this weekly vlog and as always i hope you're having a lovely day or night wherever you are in the world the birds and i'll see you in the next one bye